Welcome to Sewing Out Loud, the official podcast of ZD Sewing Studio. Here are your hosts, ZD and Mallory. Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm Mallory Donahue. And I'm ZD Donahue. And I realized I don't have a pen or a beverage. That's all right, because I was going to sing a little song like, Witches and goblins and jack-o'-lanterns bright creep through the town on a cold October night. Because this is Halloween. Why did you whisper the song? Because it, it made it spookier. Now Sam's going to have to. You won't be able this. to hear it? <laughs> no, it's no. fine. I think it's fine. Witches and goblins <laughs> and jack-o'-lanterns bright. From the diaphragm. <laughs> uh, you know I can be loud. Yes. We don't have trouble. I thought it, that was spooky kind That's of. That's the irony, right, of the whole thing. The whole. The whole. Like, my like whole the, life. we can't oh. hear ZD on a podcast. <laughs> ha ha ha. Right. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, w- I was thinking about this. Like, I was wondering if I was in my second childhood. Like, by some of the things I'm for yeah, sure. I think I'm still in the same. No, I think you just stay in the same one because I still get in trouble in class for talking sometimes. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I've I've I was, worked on. I that. was truly the model student, probably except for that one thing. I've worked talking on that. in class, trying not to. You know, there except a... then people tell me, "Oh, we love it when you say things in class." So <laughs> sure, they, they do. reinforce <laughs> it. They reinforce it. What am I supposed to do? There's a quote that someone just said in an audiobook that I was listening to it says a wise man once said nothing yes they listened yeah right yes. so anyway that, happened. that, that trying, should happen too you know I'm now not interrupting anything that's like of great magnitude now let's record our podcast where we just talk 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 right <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Today we're going to talk about Halloween. We right. know that this is going to come out on what is that? Is it the twenty seventh? Is that the Friday? I- yeah. So this gives you about Four two days. or three days to make Halloween costumes, which is how most people make their oh, Halloween. Oh, no, it's the twenty sixth. That's, that's oh five days. You got five. Well, four because on the last day you're wearing it. Depends on what time you wear it. Yeah. I mean, if you got your Halloween costume finished five days before October thirty first. You're doing a really good job. Uh, you I have your say. daughter's finished. And I it know. Was finished on the 21st. It was 10 days yes. before yes. Halloween. I want to tell y'all what that's I did a, last that's year. That's a record. What I did last year. That wasn't exactly Halloween, but there was a spooky Friday, or not so spooky Friday. And if you're a Columbia resident and you want to participate in this, it's downtown in the district, as they call it nowadays. Uh, and it's um you can trick or treat at the businesses and it happens during daylight hours. Right. It's kind of nice for a kid, especially when Zelda was two, because yes. like she goes to bed really early. And, right. But she did want to have a costume, and so I made her Jessie from uh, Toy Story. That's, That's what correct. she wanted to be, yes. and I was magic marker and pants yeah. and unpacking the hat from That's the right. Amazon she box. That's right, hat, and you did order the hat. As right. I drove to pick well, her up from and, daycare. And look, <laughs> now you just brought up a really good point, and that's what we're going to talk about, yes. is that... You can make a lot out of nothing or what's on hand, except I've decided maybe we're a little bit special about what we have on hand. But um, We're so special. Well, well, I don't think everybody... Maybe not everyone's the hoarder we are. No. I don't know. But no, we really do. I mean, you have... We have some resources here, that's for sure. And also, I think one resource is your mind. Well, and where I've been and what I've done. Your Well, your organizational abilities. I'm not good at a bunch of stuff, and you're good at she stuff. She cannot organize. Bad She's at organizing. Terrible. She's terrible. And so you are good at keeping these right. things, uh, and I'm not exactly. So anyway, you, but you are going to talk well, about Well, you may... Okay, techniques. so she... Who you were... Who she, who she was... We needed cow fab. We needed. We wanted the whole steam. Here, we're cow just gonna look. jump right in. We're gonna jump in right in. Okay. I mean, just because you said that, you were magic markering. Mm-hmm. So, especially on a costume, do not hesitate to magic marker, right? I just or posted dye on... or or put foundation on it on to make stuff... it skin color. Or, yeah, I just... uh, you know, especially if if it's something that doesn't have to last forever or you're not worried about durability or laundering or whatever. I posted in the group and I asked who's got the Sharpies out right. to make Halloween costumes. Right. So Jesse has chaps that right. are cow, you know, Holstein cow Holstein cow is what they look like, right. which is white cow with black 
black Latches. spots on yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So I had the white knit and I thought about finding like I was like, oh, I'll just get some black fabric and I'll zigzag. She was gonna like applique and applique. I was like, there's always magic markers. And I did magic marker and I will say for a two year old that was fine. For a bigger person, applique would have been faster. Well, I yes, think. because her legs were only oh, like right. a foot long, right. maybe at the most. <laughs> right. So but yes, it just depends on what you're doing. Applique could be better. So I magic markered um to, to have the whole steam cow. Right. Um Jesse is wearing like a uh, a shirt with like pearl buttons on it yeah. i made big buttons out of annie soft and stable covered them with fabric i did order the hat i ordered yeah. the jesse cowgirl hat it's it was a super cheap felt hat now we're saving that well, let's right? talk and and that's part of what yeah. we want to talk about too and uh, again i am organized but you know things come up so that's one thing you may want to keep Right. It's that hat. Now, that's a child size hat, too. But uh-huh. sometimes a child size hat is funny on a grown person. That's right. No, so sometimes like it, it so, comes in handy. So sometimes yes. it works. Or they can always wear it on the string and hang it down the back of their neck. You know, it can Good. work yeah. in, for more than just the kid that it fits. Right. But so that might be something you have in your house is hats or caps or something you might want to keep as, you know, a costume a, a rubber a rubber made tote or a plastic right. tote of hats it, is a and, great thing. And it says hats or it says Halloween hats or, you know, and, and do that with it because here's what will happen. You'll be looking for that red hat and you'll know you have it and you won't find it till the day after Halloween. Okay, so I so it's, it's going to come out on the 26th. So right. if you have Amazon Prime, you can order. Right, right, that's true. <laughs> and a lot of things you can get. Or the other thing is, is you can shop and see what – the stores have. You yeah. can look online and go, oh, they do have this. I don't have to go to 50 stores looking. I don't have to wait. I can I can shop via the internet instead of, you know, getting in my car or on public transportation right. and spending days looking no, it was for very, one little thing. It was very helpful. But I will. I did a lot of that last minute. So uh, the, the hat I got on Amazon, I did the chaps um, with the right. – I just did some elastic, you know. And then the shirt I did spend a little more time on. I cut – out appliques well I mean, and, her shirt. and you used we this knit you were using you were yes. actually using what we would consider the wrong side that's right okay i think it had a little pink pink it was so pale was it a dot or a heart or something it was like a in a dot, dot pattern yeah and they were like spaced far apart you know really even right. when you looked at the right side of the fabric you're like oh there's there's dots on that right so i used the wrong side it of looked it, like so a it was, baby knit right yeah so it was just white except except the back of the shirt. Did you flip accidentally it? had the right side? <laughs> shirt. I didn't know that. I, I didn't even did. notice. But but what we're saying is I don't don't it. rule that out. Don't right. rule looking at the back of something or look or, at the other side whatever. of the fabric uh, for sure. Uh, now or you know yeah, and we have brought this up. But there are other household things like rugs, bedspreads, sheets. Um, yes. I'm trying to think. Tablecloths. You, you know, uh, lay if you're looking for lace. Sometimes you, you, Granny's lace tablecloth has pretty much bit the dust, and it's something you can use. Someone was talking about needing a lace collar, right? And someone said on Facebook they were like, "Oh, get a coffee filter and uh, use yep. the snowflake method." That's right. That's right. And cut it out. And I was like, you, "Well, you basically sort of make a doily." Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So you can make a doily right. like that. Um, I don't know what this person was being. I have a feeling she was being Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Uh, yeah. but so I was like, "Oh, well, that's an easy way to make a collar." And um, that's when you save your your graduation gown. Uh, yes. Or your Robe, graduation yeah. robe can be used for so many things. I actually think that's what they used for the judge in Sweeney Todd. I'm sure it was. I believe. Because I saw it, it had a zipper or, in he's it. He's wearing a choir which robe. Which was, he's, whatever. was <laughs> it, an acronym, but it did have a zipper anachronism. in it. Anachronism. Yes. Not I an acronym. It, yeah, an anachronism. <laughs> it, it, has, it had a zipper in it, I saw it. Um, I don't think anybody else noticed, just me. So you have, you have some costume ideas, though, if you're not going to sew. Well, a lot of people have scrubs. Yes. You know, I remember one year, and I hope I don't offend anyone, but Lindsay went as Oh, I was hoping you would tell this story. (laughs) Lindsay's like, I have to have a costume. Listen, she was the best for I have to have a costume at the last minute. And um, no, she wasn't. Well, I was well the you best. were pretty good at it too, yeah. right? Well, everyone, they all are, and they all think that I can like pull them right out of my, you know, yin yang here. But anyway, so we put her in a pair of scrubs, and we gave her a big, huge pair of tongs, and I, 
it was that all? I don't know. Anyway, she says, so we told her to tell everybody she was a gynecologist, and apparently it was a hit. <laughs> oh, you're missing the best part what, of the story. What happened? Her I friend remember. went as a cat. <laughs> I'll just let that oh. sink in for everyone. <laughs> I'll just, you're not, okay. I cannot believe. I get it. Okay, I get it. you get it. It was okay. the cat and the gynecologist. Yep. That's you can a, okay, always that's be a, a cat. Here, here's, no, no, you can always be a lady looking for her cat, and you get a stuffed cat, and you pin it to the butt of your pants, <gasps> and you go around, and you go, kitty, 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 oh, and you have this smash good. cat on your butt. That's a good one. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen I have not I seen that. Used, I use that with somebody. Okay, the cat thing, um, I, I don't, I'm not like a huge fan of like, sexy versions of things for Halloween costumes. Uh, I am because I went one time as like one of the Marx Brothers and like my girlfriend went as a sexy cat and she got a lot more attention than I did. Well, so I changed my mind on that. if you want to be a sexy cat, be a sexy right. cat. And I'll tell you what. when Don't I Don't be a sexy. Well, be whatever you want. Be, what, I, be whatever be you what want. Be what you think is appropriate for the group. That's if right. you hesitate, if you don't think it's right, just don't do it. And I... I think it's fine to be sexy. Um, I will say that someone posted a picture on Facebook of Edgar Allan Ho. Well, I think there's a <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg sexy out, uh, too. Yeah, I mean. But, but in, see, in some circles, it would work. It I, just depends. I think you you do have to, you know, yeah, think I about just, your audience. I, yes. I just of course. think, you know, everything, you know, a joke is okay. a joke to someone and it's, and it's offensive to someone else. I don't I know. was a sexy cat when I studied abroad in Paris. And when I went to Paris, I didn't know. You had to be in a costume? Well, I didn't know how big Halloween would be or not. And it's not, like, it's not some, people don't, like, trick or treat in Paris. Yeah, but you but, were hanging with Americans, I bet. And there are enough, yeah. there's enough people who've sort of brought the tradition right. over. And, of course, hanging out in costumes is fun. Now, when I say I was a sexy cat, I mean, I'm, I'm a sexy Mallory. So if I put <laughs> so cat ears on, sexy, it's yeah. automatic, right? Yeah. Uh, so I think I wore, like, a black dress. And right. I, like, found construction paper and made ears, ears and I had right. eyeliner to da right. and I will tell you though since it wasn't a super common thing walking through Paris in a cat in costume it was a little embarrassing but then I was on the metro with some friends and this little boy he must have been around three or two right. two or three he was like looking at me and like talking to his mom and and she was like happy Halloween you know <laughs> and uh, then he she he wanted to come over to me so bad and she let him come over to me and he gave me a hug which oh, wow, sweet. this is very much like not something that happens on yeah, public transportation yeah. in Europe you like are not supposed to look at people no eye contact you know yeah, yeah it's like it's sort of like you're in your own private room. Right. When you are in You're public. In your own little capsule yeah. around you. So, yeah. you know, it's not that you can't say hello to right. someone, but it's just not. Uh, a lot of people who are American who go over to Paris, they're like, oh, no one speaks to anyone in public. And it's just a different kind of. Just a different thing. Setup. Yeah, you know, just different different, yeah. different social rules. But anyway. Okay, get off. You're, she listen, she get let this kid come over and yeah. hug me in this costume. And I thought, I just want to say the power of the power costumes. of sexy cats. <laughs> I wasn't super sexy. Yeah. I was just, you know, like I you were cute. Me. Cat. A cute, a cute. Here we cat. go. Cute cat. Cute cat. Okay, so you can be a cat. Okay, sm- um, putting putting stuffed animals on people. That is, is great. Funny. That yes. is great. Yes. So if you want to be like a cat lady and you want to yeah. sew the cat, yeah, you all can be a cat you. lady and just put them all over you. But you could say you were looking like for, for Sylvester and have him like attached to your butt, Atta- all smashed yes. or yes. something. Yeah. Um. Or you could actually be. You can be a place. You could be like a jungle. Yes. Okay. Yes. And you could wear green. Right. And you could just like a tree. You can be a tree yeah, or something you, like that. Okay. Or, uh, yeah. You, your whole body doesn't have to be the costume. Right. It could just be like your head. Right. Okay. Or you could wear something. You have cute. You, no, what's your thing well, with the gumball machine or something? Well, gum, jelly beans. Bag okay. of jelly beans was always good. But you, know, you can be any kind of candy. So like a clear cleaner's bag, like, like a, a garment bag, bag. Okay. like a, a, some sort of garment that's clear. You know, you cut a hole for your head. Uh-huh. And basically, you know, you make sure you can get your arms and your legs out. And you blow up all balloons. the different colors, balloons, and said. stick them in there. And just tape this now. Going to the bathroom is an issue. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, but think about it. <laughs> you can make an entrance, you know, yeah, until you, and, yeah, by the time you have to pee, you've had a couple beers or something. Yeah, I maybe, don't know. It's, maybe it's okay. you take it off. But and, um, <laughs> now, also, I had some friends one time that used trash bags and they came as M&M's. Yes. And she was playing and he had nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Okay, cute. so they would just left the trash bag black. Yeah, and well, like an and I, his was a different color. So I think his was like that light brown. Okay. Like it was a different, like I remember 
remember one was dark and one was lighter because okay. the one with nuts was lighter. Okay, that but sounds... they do, and they just sort of paint. I can't remember how they painted. I think they just painted the M and M's on there. Okay, I want to talk about the, go back to the painting and the sharpieing and stuff. Yeah, because I was using sharpie this time, this round of Halloween, and I wasn't using it to be visible this time right. around. So I just wanted to talk about that. The, the Zig Zagger Live broadcast, which will have happened on Wednesday this week, is about your aerial costume. Right. It's about it's about spandex applique. Right. It's about it's about appliquing basically a stretch fabric on a stretch fabric. And we're actually going to talk about your aerial costume uh-huh. in the next podcast episode too. But what I ended up having to do, and you helped me with a lot, was to make a Lightning McQueen costume. It is just, darling. Now, this is what I mean, though, about our resources, okay? Well, hold on. I want to talk about the Sharpie. Okay. Okay, So we're drawing shapes Uh, onto this stuff. And sometimes with these knits and these slippery fabrics and everything, our traditional marking pens, like the chalk or the waxy pencil or the whatever, they just don't work. And you're better off using, like, a permanent marker. Are you drawing from the back or the front? I drew from the back on some of it. And then, okay, I cut out this lightning bolt wrong like three times. I was like, no, it's supposed to be the other way. I could not figure out the, for some reason, the mirror image thing. So, yeah. It's like I cut it out from the back, but I didn't turn it around. And I'm going to show that. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to show that in in case you get confused and you're doing this at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to show the technique I work. In this that, exact yeah. live broadcast. No, no, yeah. So you Great. won't wind up with the with a, a left versus right versus a mirror image or whatever. Now, at so one that point, you will cut it out the correct way. At one point, I was doing the eyes and the mouth of Lightning McQueen. Yeah. And I just decided I was going to draw it normal, and I would cut inside the sharpie. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, I, I want to get the curve of his right. smile, and I was just like, I'm not going to worry about. Yeah, and you a, know. I mean, I was using um. A template and using a lot of pencil yeah. and chalk yeah, is what is I different. always wanted to up doing. So, but I was cutting the same shape over and over too. A lot so of you times. might, I guess, what I want to say is, you know, sharpies are cheaper than most sewing marking tools, right? Like you get a nine dollar chaco liner, whereas you're right. going to get like a cheaper permanent marker or whatever. And maybe you don't care. And don't hesitate to have use pencils, people. Yeah. But, and and they're even regular color pencils for something like this. You don't have to worry about it coming out. Mm-hmm. Like you said, I cut inside the line sometimes yeah. on this. Yeah. You know, um, sometimes I am just sort of freehanding something, and I doesn't have to be exact either. I'm just like going for maybe sort of the size uh-huh. and like the direction it's going to go in, and I just cut inside the line. Sure. So just keep that in mind. Now I will say this year's costume. I am more proud of it than last year's. The right. Lightning McQueen, I'm more proud of it than a... It, well, it just came together... Well, it and it looks, came together like in 12 hours. It looks really stunning. So I would like to kind of talk about that process because Mallory and I talked about it a little bit. And she said, well, I don't think I have the fabric. I said, we have the fabric. So here's the other thing that was going on. Mallory was in a play and I was in a showcase performance. So we were... Showbiz. Yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, we are both trying to be in these productions, deal with a business and a fam and families and you know, other people's costumes, all this. So Zelda was gonna wear her costume to my performance because it was called a spooktacular and they were encouraging the kids to get to wear their costumes. Right. Okay. Or adults hey, too. so let's take a break real quick and come back and talk about Lightning McQueen then. Okay. okay. All, all right. right. <laughs> everybody it's Mallory here in your message break and I just want to make an announcement or a disclaimer or whatever we're supposed to call it that we are going to start using affiliate links as a a way to get support for the podcast and for our website and everything like that uh mom do you know what an affiliate link is (laughs) okay she's affiliating me with something i have no idea what this is about yeah i totally like used you know our our tax id number to you know so what an affiliate link is i'm gonna wind up like in jail and not know what i'm being charged with is that right probably okay uh no because we're disclaiming it right now oh okay (laughs) affiliate links i'll just need a lawyer i won't go to jail okay yes and we'll make money from the affiliate links to pay for the lawyer So it's Edie's going to need to keep her butt out of jail. No, we're doing it all right. Okay, so here's the deal. Affiliate links are links that we post uh, that maybe to Amazon or or to other products or on other platforms. And when you click through, 
and you buy things on Amazon or or you subscribe to something, you know, that we're an affiliate for, we get a kickback. Okay. Oh, we make money? Yeah, we make a little bit of money. And what's really cool about the Amazon thing is uh, you know, you make we make the kickback on on everything you buy. <laughs> so uh So if they buy a refrigerator, I can make I can make money on it. That is correct. Hey everybody, buy a refrigerator. No, we're not okay, so th- that's something we're not supposed to do, right? Oh, we're not supposed to, I, that's, so now I am gonna wind up in yes. jail. So the terms of service though, I just wanna let you all know, is that we have to disclaim like, hey, we're an affiliate for this or this you know when we share this tracing paper from amazon that has free shipping this is an affiliate link you need to know that i am not just innocently recommending this uh and we will get a kickback on that so you're going to see some of those in the group it's never going to be uh crap that we don't i was going to say even though we could endorse crap we won't. We're not going. We're actually going to maintain our ethics. <laughs> yes. Okay. And we're going to find you things at places that ship fast. Uh, we're going to recommend products that we really enjoy using. If you've ever ordered something from us, you may have noticed that Mallory's not the most organized uh, shipper and packer. So we are going to play to our strengths and really focus on creating the podcasts, the videos, the online classes, and allow other businesses that are really good at shipping things <laughs> to ship things to you. So just be aware that we will be using those affiliate links. Uh, there are lots of ways to let you know. I can just say this is an affiliate link or sometimes people use hashtags and I've been getting really creative and using and it's been a lot of fun already in the group. So uh, just heads up, we're going to be doing that. And if you click on an affiliate link, know that if you purchase something, you'll be supporting SoHere.com, and we so appreciate it. Good idea, Mal. So, 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 sewing out loud. And we're back. Okay, okay, so we're trying to juggle all this stuff. Right. we got to make Lightning McQueen. And, and, the, and I understand this might not be realistic for everyone, but... Like, we do have a lot of resources. We don't have to go out and buy thread. We don't, I mean, we've got it all here, right? Yeah. That's why I tell you all to have it, and that's why I tell you all have all kinds of needles and all that kind of stuff. Don't, but do the best you can. I know not everybody has the space we have. So a supply library. A supply, yes, a oh, supply library. Oh, supply so, library. A sewing, 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 library. Yeah. sewing supply library. Yes. You're welcome. So that was lovely. <laughs> So Mallory goes, I don't know. I thought, well, I thought, I thought, and then she said, I thought you were using that fabric for Nora's cape for Wonder Woman. And I said, well, I can flip that out for this other fabric that I have. And um, so what I did while Mallory was off, I don't know, doing what, probably another performance. Dying. Or I can't remember. Dying on that was stage. the other thing. She also had an upper respiratory crud, which she now oh, no longer has I meant, because she's given it to me. I meant I was dying in Sweeney Todd. Yeah, but you were also, also had, dying. Yeah, I, I had also the consumption. Had that. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> what I did is I pulled all the fabric. Yeah. So I pulled all this red fabric and this gold fabric because I, I knew she wanted to do Lightning McQueen, right? Right. I wasn't worried about white. I knew she could find white, you know. So I pulled all this different fabric that I know better where all the fabric is, I believe, than Mallory does also, most of the time. You know, this is like true. Of course, it's the business's space, but like right. you bought a lot of this fabric, you know. And, oh, yeah. And She's trying not to use like my $25 a yard fabric on her school you project. You know, I, I like it when you let well, me know. Well, yeah, you don't, you don't want yeah. somebody to use fabric gifts. And like she thought. She, you did think that maybe yes. that was caught. Yeah, I had that out for Nora or whatever. So anyway, but I replaced Nora's uh, red sequins with blue sequins and her blah blah her solid with them. So anyway, Mom knew my plans for this costume, and I just want to say this is a funny little aside about the costume. Zelda has said she wanted to be Lightning McQueen for months. Thank goodness. Like, she didn't change her mind, right? And so I had had time to let this ruminate, and I thought, oh, I'm going to be so smart. I'm not going to make a car. I'm not going to try and, like, create a car for her to wear or carry. I'm going to make her a racing jumpsuit so she'll look like a race car driver and have, like, Lightning McQueen's face on it. Uh, And then I think, oh, no, I'll make a jacket and pants, and she'll be able to wear the jacket. Okay, I think I'm really smart. 
if you Google Lightning McQueen costume, that's like <laughs> it's all, it's, it's a, like what they're doing. So yeah, you had to think it up, and it was already somebody I was like, already I'm thought so of it. Smart, yes, you know. Okay. And so anyway, right, and she and 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 Mallory says, and I and I don't know. I'll have to draft a pattern. And I said, I bet I have one. Mom has this pattern from. 1975 A.D. or something. No, no, or no. B.C.E. It was 1980 because Hillary was born. Okay. It was Hillary's. <laughs> Maybe you bought it before that. And I, I, try, I was trying to. It, it looks no. It, like the envelope used to be white. We'll pick it. We'll, it's it's now it costs a dollar seventy-five. It's now like sepia tone. Yeah, <laughs> costs a dollar seventy-five. It um, costs that much? I thought it was like sixty-nine. No, cents. it says dollar seventy-five. Oh, well, because on it. it has multiple things in it, probably. Yeah, it's a vest. so it's just a little. Like car, what we used to call a car coat or a yep. little jacket pattern. Okay. And it has a collar. And I pulled it and I just, I, I said, I think we have that, which that was the hardest thing for me to find because you know what? We got rid of, remember, the children, man, child, then, toddler, baby. The man, child, toddler. <laughs> file Sam, cabinet. Sam and, I, and I were cleaning out the studio <laughs> one time and she goes, Mal, what's this man, child, toddler, baby drawer? <laughs> Like, what are you talking about? That's what it said. On the, on well, that's the, what was in there. Man, child, toddler, baby. <laughs> that that in that file cabinet. That's what was in there. But we actually got rid of that file cabinet. So I didn't know where I had put man, child, toddler, baby. <laughs> and thank goodness I put it all in one thing. Apparently, man, so um, I I found it with not too much trouble. Yeah. Okay. And but it was you saved me a lot of looking. A lot of brain power, just pulling that fabric and yes. putting that pattern out there. So I me just so, put, so I didn't know. I you know she, I knew she had talked about a jumpsuit. I knew she had talked about a jacket. I didn't know exactly what she had melded together in her mind and come up with. But I knew we were going to applique. Yeah. So I pulled out you know red lycra. I pulled out red red sequin, sequin lycra. I pulled out gold sequin gold lycra. sequin lycra. Is that all I pulled? Out? Oh, I satin. I pulled out the red satin. But that's what I'm actually using. For Nora. for Nora, but I thought you could use the satin too. You know, yeah. I didn't know if you wanted to make it. I didn't know if you wanted to make it all out of lycra, right. which the lycra was a little bit shiny, had a nice shiny um, finish on it, so it's very cute. So I come home from rehearsal, and Mallory's at rehearsal, but what I find on the table is pieces of a jacket. So you know that I, are applied on. I too. cut out. All the jacket pieces. Right. I applique racing stripes onto the sleeves. I applique lightning right. bolts onto the sleeves. And I had I done the back of the jacket? You it, had only done the back I did and a the 95. sleeves. Yeah. Oh, that's his number on the back oh, no, of the I jacket. Just, yeah, but you had not done the front. I had cut everything right. out. And I cut out the collar and constructed it too. Right. So that was good. Um, and then I needed pants. Right. And I had well, a, and, and I had said, I'm pretty sure we got some kind of separating zipper. I don't right. know how oh, long it is. I picked out the zipper, right. too. Yeah, so yep. the zipper was like there. So I was like, oh, well, we've got everything now. Yep, yep. I had a pair of leggings up here that I thought fit her really right. nicely. So instead of redrafting her legging pattern, there was this pair you bought her, and they were great. Okay, Just so I come upstairs. home after rehearsal. I'm dead tired. Of course I come home with other people's costume pieces. To fix. To mm-hmm. fix. And I think, <clears throat> and I walk up here, and I find this cost, you know, what she has just described as laying there, you know, and she goes, well, here's what she's, cause my husband comes up and he finds me like drafting these pants, this pants pattern, you know, and making yeah. these pants after I finished the chickmunks costume for the, you know, my show that was happening. And he goes, you're making Zelda's <laughs> Halloween costume. And after all that, I said, well, the way Mallory put it to me was, I said, I just, I said, I'm just making sure I do the pants. And he, I said, the way Mallory put it to me was, oh, well, she can just wear black pants if she has to. That is not what I <laughs> said. Yes, you did. I'm looking at our did. text conversation. She, no, no, you said that to me, I think. I don't think you. Oh, you would. I'm I think trying you said it to out look loud. at the record. I think you said it out loud to me. Um, so. I don't. So anyway. That's I not was what I guilted into. <laughs> po- not what to I To just. Pooping out these costume pants. <laughs> she she totally could have worn black pants with this jacket. In fact, but I wanted they're her in, really cute. And Mallory said, "I want a little gold stripe down the leg." Well, it I wanted really actually, cute. I wanted two gold stripes like the sleeves, oh, I but only you did just one. put one. But you know what, everybody? They look. Fantabulous. You know what? I don't think her legs wide enough for two <laughs> <I know>. gold stripes. <laughs> and actually, I do want to say, 
so we got the costume finished to this certain point, uh, quite finished actually, uh, for the showcase. And I looked at it, I got to look at it on her, and there's a few more appliques I'm gonna add, yeah, that I can do after the fact. But it was a hit, it was darling. I, I'm really grateful for the time. So right. I'm a big procrastinator. I had a lot going on. I put too much on my plate. I was trying to get the Rhapsody finished, too, right. which actually is available now. Uh, so that pattern's done. And I'm really glad that I got the time to look at it because I'm actually – it doesn't say McQueen on it anywhere. Oh, it yeah. has a And we don't have it. a hat. We were pro- I, we're probably going to have a I hat. I think I want a hat, yep. yeah. Well, and the thing about this is we're going to really make Jerome, like, uh, <laughs> no, Zelda's getting married in this. So she's <laughs> We're going to really, really like, make sure Jerome likes us when he's in this size. <laughs> okay, and everybody, I'm going to make Jerome be Luigi. Because he looks just like Luigi, actually. Look like Luigi. So he's going to have a, a blue onesie with metallic sleeves because Luigi is a forklift. So he has silver yeah. arms. And, and he's going to have the a face. little mustache. I, well, no, Luigi doesn't have a oh, mustache in cars. Oh, in cars. Oh, I'm thinking the wrong one. If Luigi. you think of Mario, okay. then yeah. Luigi I'm has thinking a mustache. Of Mario. Yeah. Oh, wait, does he? Yes, he has a mustache. Yeah. But um, he's he's going to be the forklift. Now, Zelda wants me to be Cruz Ramirez and for Derek to be Jackson Storm. But I really want to be Zoya the Destroyer from Glow, and I want Derek to be Mark Marin from Glow. I don't even so, know what that is. So. And he has a beard and glasses, yeah. and I think he could do his hair. So. Wait, that's because you're in love with Mark Marin. No, 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 no. I want to no. wear a red leotard. Oh, we have one. <laughs> I know. Yes. I, <laughs> so anyway. So, uh, so anyway, that's another thing you may have around your house is a leotard. All leotards are great. And if you can get a man in a leotard, it's really funny. It's just A man in a leotard humorous. and a tutu is, is always good. Right. He can be a fairy. Mm-hmm. Um, so trash bags, we talked about that. <laughs> um, cleaners bags. Let's talk okay, about stock. So that, okay, so stock. So stock. Stock. And when I talk about stock, I think I'm talking about stock in all areas of adornment, including, you know, costumes for anything, and which would be Halloween, a play, uh, what a, or real life. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, we found so, reasons to like get dressed up at the shop, of course. Right. <laughs> So that the, well, party, like you know, yeah. bachelorette parties, things like that, yeah. baby showers, whatever we've had worn costume pieces, I guess. So there's a red cape in our repertoire that has been Little Red Riding Hood, and Little Red Riding Hood comes in many versions because sometimes she's from <clears throat> Into the Woods, and sometimes she's from the actual fairy tale book or whatever. But it's such a great, great cape. All you need is a basket and something red to wear underneath it. And ta-da. Yeah. No, and you, you are, probably don't even you, have to have anything red, no, really. Cause, no, you are, I mean, yeah, any uh, a little dress of some sort or whatever. We have Alice in Wonderland left over from when you were actually uh, Alice. Alice, and it has a pinafore. And, you know, that's been worn, actually, that pinafore has been worn under Little Red so, Riding Hood's cape. Like aprons, aprons, capes, mm-hmm. hats, which we mentioned right. earlier. Or, you know, we made that wolf. Did I help make that wolf hat headdress or not? Or did you do all that? I made the wolf. Okay. That wolf yeah. headdress that was made for Catherine. You did the face or something. That's something. I, yeah, can't I, can't yeah, I can't remember what I did on that. I can't remember what happened. I didn't do a lot. Uh, so we had, all we had is wolf pieces. It's just, it's a hood that comes uh-huh. kind of down over her head with ears. And then you put wolf makeup on, you make up your face. And then I just had cuffs of fur that went around the hands and around the ankles. So this, so you can wear like regular clothes or you can wear a leotard or you can wear whatever. And this fit. Oh, a, and there's a tail and a vest. Okay. So yeah. this fit a 12 year old. And then this fit like a 40 year old. Yeah, okay. And yeah. then this, so these are the things that you might want to hang on to right so if yeah and if i spent a lot of money actually on that fur on that fur yeah so i was like i'm gonna make this like worthy of keeping okay so here's the the um so, oh, the wolf and little red riding hood happen to go together really well right. also here's the sort of catch 22 or where you need to use your best judgment when sewing costumes and i think we sort of covered this in the previous costuming episodes like uh-huh. as in costuming a show I think you should always use high quality thread. 
because you are taking time on this, no matter how yep. little, okay? You should always use high-quality thread. If you have a serger, get that into play yep. for finishing off edges. It can help things last longer. You don't have to do, like, couture sewing techniques. And you don't have to be real fitted with everything yes. because you can always belt something. But do you... You know, do some level of quality yeah. so that you're not just wasting a bunch right. of time. I mean, you can as do better. Like you can do better than things. the off of the rack stuff that you get at the right. big box stores. This Lightning McQueen costume is going to last. Oh, it's people are going to be borrowing that sucker. Oh, and they, yeah. they had to put a deposit on That's it. That's what cute. I thought. It's, it's really cute. Well, and she just had little black boots that were just darling. Oh my gosh! It. It just I think Hillary perfect. gave us those. She found yeah. them somewhere. They were just adorable. And I do, I do kind of want to do a hat. I just think it would really make. Yeah, the, the hat will be really cute. Uh, hats, hats are good. Hats that's, you know, clue people into what's going on. And, you know, I think you can do Lightning McQueen embroider across the front of it someplace. Maybe. I also thought about, like, a headband, too, for well, her. Work. You know? Well, and headbands are great because you can stick anything on them, yep. ears or whatever. I mean, oh. we have a lot of things like that. We have a lot of floral headbands and little crowns. and Yeah, you can you be know. the queen of something. You can always be the queen of something. You can always queen be the winter. queen of hearts. Queen of queen, this, yeah. queen of that. Whatever. Okay. You know. Um, <laughs> if uh, I make a skirt, like a circle skirt, I will usually make it with an elastic waistband. Yes. So maybe more than one person can wear it. You and know. The, you've got this black dress over here. Yeah, that yeah you, we made fun of my black dress. That you made a million years ago. I didn't. Yeah. I said it's an easy tee. I made that in 1983 because okay. Lindsay was a baby. There you go. She was, her, she was 90 year old, yes. Yeah, she was born in April, so she was like six months old. Right. Um, okay, that black dress, you can be a witch. Right. It's been, it's been, I was Elvira. Who, okay, you can that, be who Elvira. I was. Right. Because okay, I found can... this wig and I was like, man, I'm being Elvira. Yeah, there you yeah. go. So, so black dresses or black right. leotards or something like that, if you right. get something like that, save it. And old, if you had to buy a dance costume, for a kid, yeah, keep for them. a recital, you can keep them. Keep that for a costume. Yeah, it's a. I used to wear the kids' costumes for my Halloween costume later. Yep, um, she sure did. We, remember the <laughs> one, uh, the flapper. We had the flapper dress that it was yeah, worn many that, times. That was something like so. So keeping this stock can be nice. Find right. a way to store it if you're yeah. not somebody who needs to have a costume closet like well, we do. In fact, I I kept a lot of these things hung and this year I have decided what I'm going to do is put them in the big like two gallon Ziploc bags or whatever mm -hmm. and then put them in some sort a of tote, tote uh, and put Halloween on there and sort of file them and make sure like the accessories are with them and everything. Right. Not always separate the accessories. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a specific we have a um, Statue of Liberty costume yeah. that I made for um, Music Man. That's been worn quite. Yeah. It, and it's real warm. It's kind of heavy. Oh, So that yeah. works out. So you know, and that's the other thing that works out is if if you're in an area where you trick or treat outside um, and you can't depend on the weather, try and make sure that, you know, a coat can go under it or a coat is part of the costume. That or... was something I was really excited about for Lightning McQueen, too. Because right. I thought this can be warm. Because even with Jessie last year, she was cold. I uh -huh. even put another T-shirt underneath. But I right. thought, man, if she can have this jacket right. and she can have a hat, right. she can just go out there and be Lightning McQueen. So what we're doing for Nora, who Sam actually purchased, because Nora saw, you know, the Wonder Woman costume, and said, I want that one. And Sam's like, you mean I don't have to make it? She made some part of it, well, though, didn't she? she made the accessories. She, she made okay. the shield. They made the lasso. Oh, she made a light-up lasso, She made right. a light-up lasso. <laughs> Is that all she made? I Maybe. She, that might yeah, be all she made. But anyway, she her. said, I think she needs a cape. And I said, I'll do the cape. Yeah. And I will make it where it can be warm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hopefully she will still, you know, if it's if it's cool enough, she can, she'll still be looking right. like... Uh, yeah, you know, Wonder Woman. She it was, was. I'm remembering that it was really, really cold last year. I don't know and, how. And see, here we never know. And it can also be rainy. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And actually, I think Halloween, it, from my memories, we live in Missouri. Okay, right. this is in the middle of the United States. And the joke is, if you don't like the weather in Missouri, just wait five yeah. minutes. It's kind of a joke about oh. the whole Midwest. Right. Yeah. So it can be like 70 degrees on Christmas, right. but then it can be like freezing in right. April or so. You know, and. I just always remember Halloween well, being colder and than we, I wanted to we be. Trick or, we trick or treat here in the dark. In right. some areas, you don't do that. But, you know, it's usually you eat dinner, you kind of wait till dusk, and about the time people's headlights are going on is when you go out. I am really liking these events 
now that the I have events kids. events are nice, like the indoor events at malls or, or you know, whatever. Or even if whatever you, you know, like, areas. I don't go to right. church, but churches will have, like, they'll have a trunk They or call treat. them trunk or treats where people take their cars and put treats in their trunk and they're on, like, the parking lot right. or whatever. So it's just a little well, it's easier. also safety. Yes, that's what I like yes. about it. I like right. the safety a little bit more. Mm-hmm. I like this thing downtown because there's still a lot of kids. I mean, we've already had other. trunk or treats here. Yeah. And it's been, I, I think I saw one was a, a church. And I saw another one that was a. We, we're in a university town, like a, uh, college. It looked like a sorority they, and a university and a uh, fraternity. Put it on together. Yeah, they'll yes. be fundraisers, right? And so I think that's nice. So I like those events a lot. Um, and then, oh, Halloween candy catchers. Okay, this is the one thing that I kind of forgot last year. I was like, oh, she needs a bag. That's right. <laughs> to get her candy, and so I don't. I feel like I want to come up with something clever. For her bag, and I a don't toolbox. Yeah, like a tool. That, that's kind Which of what I was you thinking. Have a toolbox. Uh, something, but you have. Well, our family has this heirloom. It's, Halloween. it's two of them. Okay, there are two of them. There's two of them, and these were like talk. Talk about these. They, okay, these were purchased, I believe, at like the fabric warehouse when there was. What was it called? The fabric know. warehouse. Somebody's fabric, like Jackman's fabric warehouse or something. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, they were printed on canvas. Uh-huh. And actually, it was a really good quality canvas. So it was, these were, you know, Halloween, whatever. Like they were panels? Yes, they were panels. And it was printed on the black canvas and it glowed in the dark. And, uh-huh. and that's another thing you have to think of is, you know, right. do you have a flashlight? What do you have? Now there's so many things. I mean, you know, you can wear the bracelets that light up and all the, and all right. the LED lights and the headlights. And she can wear a headlight. She could wear a headlamp. Yeah, she yeah. could Except wear a headlamp. Our headlamps blind people. Well, that's true. <laughs> I have we have ones that just flash too. You know, blinding any, flashes. Right. <laughs> so anyway, I made these canvas bags, and it was before Mallory was thought of even. So it was for the first the first two girls, and you know, nice heavy canvas. They got a good handle, two good handles on them. Nothing breaks, nothing falls apart. They were deep, and. We would use them as tote bags during the rest of the year because everybody liked the size they were and books felt like fit in them really and everything. And we were having a um, sewing club meeting at the shop. And we were actually talking about sergers and finishing seams and how did you used to finish seams and all this. And I said, yeah, what did I, how how are all the ways I used to finish seams? Like when the kids were little and. And you didn't have a serger. Well, or even when I had a serger. I had the wrong color in it or I, uh, whatever. I don't know. You know, and I said, oh, let me look at this Halloween bag because I knew the Halloween bag was like 20 something years old. And I get the Halloween bag out and I have French seamed this Halloween bag. <laughs> the Halloween bag. This Halloween bag is still. There's, these are still Hillary in has existence. them and her boys are using them now. Yeah. yeah. They, and they have those haunted so houses. They're, for, on them, they're you like know. almost 40 years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They. And they're they're adorable, you know. Um, so so just, if you want to make a Halloween bag, you that can. Lasts. And, and, I mean, you know, if that or you know that that's a good like present for someone to give a kid instead of candy. Hey, I'm gonna have a Halloween oh, bag made hey, for you or whatever. I want to mention. Um, this came up and I've forgotten that I have designed these. Okay, and that they are on our website. I have published a free oh, yeah. embroidery pattern. That's true. For uh, machine embroidery for monster bookmarks. Yeah, those these are, are really cute. an in the hoop project where you can use something like felt or ultra suede, something that doesn't fray, because um, these are raw edge, um, uh, a raw edge project. And these monster, there are three different ones. They like have different faces and different teeth, and they fit on the corner of a book page okay so those are those bookmarks so if you wanted to make those for someone special you can if you want to make them and sell them for some kind of um like fundraiser or something please just email me just contact me and i've had a few people do that lately right. they're like hey i want to make these you know uh-huh. and there's a video on they how sell to do them that like um bizarre fairs craft craft and stuff fairs, whatever, you know right. i ask that you not sell them like for your own personal gain i guess i who's gonna know if somebody does that but whatever um so anyway uh those those are a great non-candy gift right uh and it's not something if you're handing out a hundred things you'd want to make no of course not for your special people yeah for your special kids um your special actually 
I use them, uh, actually. And Sam stitched up some of these, and she did such a great job with the color scheme. She made one of them look like a vampire, and she was much more creative. Like, I designed these when I was a teenager, and then she comes That's in. Count. <laughs> yeah, no, she made she made a wonderful vampire. So anyway, um, we'll link to that blog post in the show notes here and that's a free embroidery design for you all uh okay so also don't forget about aluminum foil you can oh, do like you yeah. can always make an alien out of aluminum foil and i would i say... mean there's there's all kinds of weird stuff if you you know i have seen people come as an m and m and they cut two circles out of you know cardboard or, or yeah. yeah and pasted one on the front and one on the back put straps between it and worn it you know i mean if if you're desperate you're desperate i also like um i think that you should invest if if you like halloween if you ever do shows or something just invest in a good makeup kit that's true it'll last you a long time although makeup nowadays like is so different than you know you used to could now you can find green lipstick oh yeah you can it's very, i mean, I mean it's very not true. as bizarre as very it used true. to be um, well, let's talk about glitter makeup. Just so you know. We're I, only I, on minute 42. Okay. <laughs> I had on glitter makeup for my showcase this weekend. And glitter makeup is, glitter is still coming out of my eyeballs. Yeah. Just so you know, anytime you do glitter or anything like loose sequins, just know that they will be reoccurring in your life for a long time. Last night I was at class and I looked down and there was glitter on my leotard that had never come close to any glitter container. Yeah. But like I said, it was still like falling out. Well, no, I washed my face when I got home. And then my husband says, so you're going to take that glitter off your eyes? <laughs> I already, I already did. did. It, it just keeps like coming out of my eyeballs. I don't know where it's coming Gosh, from. Gosh, dang it. So <laughs> anyway, I don't mind it. I like glitter, but there is I, there was some on my face. I don't know if you see any now, but I saw some yeah, this I morning. Do. And I have been in the bathtub. I have washed my hair. It just shows up, and we think it's fun. So it doesn't bother us. I would wear glitter every day if I didn't think I would get, like, strange looks or I'd be somehow you know judged by it um so makeup i yeah. posted actually speaking of glitter oh I, and there's so many i posted a on... video if you if you're interested in like how a business can really like walk the walk on inclusivity and stuff <laughs> Rihanna. Okay, yeah. and I did not know this. I didn't know this about her, and I don't like really listen to Rihanna's music or anything. But Rihanna, her brand's uh, Fenty Beauty and her Fenty like lingerie line. I, I think it's called Savage X Fenty. Um, she hires and supports artists of all different like colors, shapes, sizes, um, etc., and really lets them shine. Literally, uh, mm -hmm. I posted the glitter video, and I can't. I'm right. so sorry, I can't remember this guy's name, but he is beautiful, and he is <laughs> not your typical like model that you see on most makeup ads. Right, and so it was really nice to see, and I just thought, man, like everybody likes to you know be shiny sometimes, right? Well, or a lot of people do. And, and I so, will. Go ahead, anyway, yeah. the the makeup thing. And there's so many tutorials on. Oh, there's so many cool good things. tutorials now. Um, but I loved I loved her that um advertisement that they did and the, so. and let, the one thing about glitter is there is cosmetic um yes grade yes glitter versus yes. the glitter you put you know on your christmas wreath or whatever <clears throat> so do not be putting craft glitter on your, on face. your face you really want the cosmetic grade there are places i have what i call my tower of glitter that i bought a tower of cosmetic grade glitter and I don't remember. I think it came from overseas someplace. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. But um, it's very fine. Um, I don't know what the difference is. I assume, like, those colors on it or whatever won't kill you as fast as the other colors. <laughs> whatever. But, um, I mean, I'm sure I had that stuff in my eyes, and it did not bother me. Well, and the other thing is, if you want to get real conscious about all this jazz, right. I mean, of course, we're talking about making clothes out of fabrics right. that shed microfibers right. and stuff like that. You know, no one can be perfect, but there is a company, um, I'll try to find them, 
that they are producing eco glitter that right. breaks down better. That breaks so down. That's good. Yes. So I hope that as there's also glitter you can eat. You know, yeah, you can poop glitter. Yes. You can poop unicorn no. poop. Yes. So uh, there's there are options like that. Right. You know, if you are worried about things like that. Speaking of eating or whatever, don't don't like miss things that are in your kitchen just like a milk carton can be like <laughs> carved into a head of yeah. like a frankenstein square head and stuff you know you can you can do stuff and look online for you know i i used to have to pull all this stuff out of my own imagination you could find you know, so much stuff online now i we are doing a secret sweeney which is like a secret santa oh no and yes. I think that the person I have for Secret Sweeney might listen or someone they know. So listens. you can't say, so well, can't this say won't be out by then, will it? Yeah, we're going to give out stuff the day after this oh. comes out. We're going to do these Secret Sweeney. Well, they don't know who they are gifts. yet. Well, I was going to say, don't know. I was going to say the role because I'm having trouble thinking of a gag gift. This was my whole, this was mm. my idea. So I need to ask you what to do. Mom's rolling her eyes. She's like, oh, I'll take care of it. She's like, <laughs> Oh, we can always give them a crotch sausage or something. Yeah, there we go. So, <laughs> so I need to I need to figure out um, the gag gift I'm going to do. But mom is so good at this stuff. So if you have a question about your Halloween costume, oh yeah, she's telling I'm just you to sacrifice. No, no, I'm going to no. sacrifice mom here on the altar. I, of Halloween. Did you see, have you seen the pin Tag cushion? ZD have you Donahue? seen the pin cushion I have. costume? The Tag Zd Donahue and say, Zd, what should I be for Halloween? And she'll come up. She'll come up with it. So I guess the an idea for you. I I think the thing that you should take from this the most is. Save the pieces that you put a little time into or a little energy yeah, into or yeah. a little money because you may use them later and you won't even know why. Like the whip that I made Mallory keep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> you, you never know. You never know. Okay. Well, everybody, thank you for listening. We'd love to we're, – we're sharing so many costumes in the group. It seems to be just like costume, costume, costume. Well, it's the month yeah. of making costumes. Well, and, and Mallory and I are both in a show, so it's just really, really – It's actually – I must admit, I feel like we started out our costuming, like, so you want to costume a show – Um episode that that series mm -hmm. as like okay you want a costume a show here's how to do it and it could be really thankless and everything right. but i feel like i've been working <gasps> with some cool people so, and now i want a costume a show so what happened to me what happened now he was talking about like how great she was and she was saving her show and doing this costume so and you just can't you just can't let me have i had just finished <laughs> performing and i I put my witch's costume that I had over my costume so nobody would, you know, blah, blah, so I wouldn't wear my performance like costume a, out a to the up. audience. Right. Yeah. So I was covered up and I went out and I, and um, your dad was there and your sister, mm -hmm. Lindsay, and Lindsay's wife were there. They were the ones that were at the first show. And, oh no, Hillary was there too, but I think maybe she'd left by then. But anyway, we're sitting there and there are acro performers on stage and pop! Nikki's lingerie strap pops off. pops off and you know they actually wound up leaving the stage because you know she had on pasties but it just wasn't a good thing to wasn't be gonna there. be doing it yeah. right it wasn't working especially with acro and, and it was so funny so I just sort of got up and Lindsay goes don't worry my mom's got this uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and I walked to the back and there there's like four people around her going oh no 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 what do we do who's got a pin and I said calm down and somebody said, no problem, ZD's here. <laughs> I don't even know Did who said it. Did that happen in the middle of her performance? Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah, it happened in the middle of performance. And they said, how fast can you fix it? I said, we'll be ready. After tell Jeff. To... So did they get to redo their yes. number? Yes. Oh, so I said, good. tell oh, Jeff good. to redo their music. And she said, should... The performer said, "Should I? Should we start over or, or pick it up where we go?" I go, "No, you're going to start over because yeah. I really like that first part." Well, so, and that was a really cool performance. It was a too. really cool yeah. performance. Really so, cool. Um, anyway, they're like, "Oh, take it off!" I go, "Do not take it off. Just, you know, just calm down. Just ZD okay, here. I'm here." Now, the only problem that occurred that I didn't think of, but I did have alcohol wipes with me, which everybody should have. I had rosin on my hands, so I go to thread the needle and stick it. <laughs> not everything is sticking to my hands, but got the needle threader. There you go. And um, so I think next time I'm going to pre-thread some needles. You know how we do that sometimes? Yes. Yes, and it's such a good idea. I've really been learning my lesson. You know, I have not brought a sewing kit to Sweeney, oh, and I'm using. I have the I have the baby lock thing, you know, with all the pockets yeah. in it. Yep. I'm using whatever crap is at the theater. I mean, no. the theater is yeah. wonderful, but somebody has just left some crappy thread. Well, and, and you don't. You also don't know what they have. You know what was the worst about? And then somebody's like, 
oh, we have scissors? Oh, we have pens? I said, yes, yeah. we have all that. You know that. what's been the worst about- We had, we had vodka in a spray bottle. About using those supplies is that the thread was really bad. Yes. And I wanted to, when I had to sew up her costume backstage, right. I wanted to just thread one real yes. long thing yes. and go, 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 go. And it wanted to not up on me yes. because it was- or you know, yeah. I, or if I had had some like thread heaven or yeah. something that would have been good. I have thread heaven with. You need so, to. Put, we need to have two bags. Yeah, we, we have, need we've to have, always had have one, but we actually Mallory and we were actually performing at the same on time. two different stages. You know, in two different locations. Just at the treating same time, all of Columbia the town, to the right. Donahue dazzling. And I hear that you actually watched my performance then backstage, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get off of here. And I yes, like I said. Show us your Halloween costumes. Thank you all so much for listening. And happy Halloween. So long and so happy. So spooky. Thanks for listening to Sewing Out Loud. For even more expert sewing advice, visit SewHere.com. 